Harvest Electronics began in 1990, making devices for monitoring Coca-Cola vending machines. In 2000, that business was sold, and the company followed a new direction, developing frost alarms for orchardists. Today, it has its own manufacturing and assembly plant, producing circuit boards and a variety of fail-safe alarm and alert monitors for use across primary industries. We began in the hort sector, but in the last three years, we've been predominantly in the dairy sector. What's got us interested in the dairy industry is that there's a lot of issues, there's a lot of problems in that sector, and it would be neat to help our country and industry in general, uh, particularly environmental issues. I think farmers get some bad press and we can help them to manage their resources better. We're three years down the track from when we started and, um, and our sales are, are very good. Probably, I would say at the moment, only 5% of dairy farmers are interested in this level of monitoring, but I think that's changing quite quickly. Everything we do is solar powered and generally out in a paddock where there is no power, um, whereas most of the automation is happening where there's 230 volts and so it's happening inside the, the cow shed. Most farmers who, who are irrigating now have to report their data on a timely basis to a local council and they don't want to read the meter every day. So that's when they use someone like us to read the meter and send the data automatically through to the council. This here is our base unit, that's, which is, becomes the heart of any monitoring system we do. Stainless steel case, it's got a logger inside here that we designed and built. It, we built it totally here ourselves, got lots of inputs, lots of outputs. Can, is relays so it can control pumps and things like that. And, um, and generally it's configured as a weather station, so there's rain gauge, wind sensor, and, um, and temperature humidity sensor, solar radiation sensor, so we can calculate evapotranspiration on a dairy farm. The other bits of kit on a farm will generally call into this antenna via a UHF radio that we make, so they're scattered all around the farm. They can be umpteen of those. Inside here, we log all the information that's happening, and then every X minutes, which might be 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, then the cell phone wakes up and sends the data back to our servers, where it's displayed on graphs, and we also have a support team there to help people to work through any problems. The farmer might have seen a problem on his website, or we might have notified him to say, your battery's gone flat, could you please go and check that there's not spray all over your solar panel or whatever, because not only do we monitor the things the farmer sees, we monitor the cell phone signal strength, we monitor the signal strength of all the radios, and we monitor the voltage coming into the battery from the solar panel. When we set up a system, the farmer tells us the things that he wants to know about that are out of spec. On this property around the milk vat, we're monitoring the outlet tap position, that we're monitoring the position of the door, whether it's open or closed. We're monitoring the temperature of the milk. Up on top, we've got a laser sensor that's monitoring the level of the milk, the amount of milk in there. Plus, we're monitoring the stirrer to make sure that's running. Around the back, we're monitoring the inlet tap to make sure that's open or closed at the right time. And inside the shed, we're monitoring the temperature of the milk going into the plate cooler and the temperature coming out. Plus, we're monitoring the temperature of the hot water cylinders to make sure they're up to temperature. Out in the paddock, we've got a weather station that's monitoring wind, wind, rainfall, temperature, humidity, but we're also calculating evapotranspiration from, at that point. And then we've got effluent irrigator. We're tracking that with a GPS. We're monitoring the pressure and the speed of it, and we send a signal back to shut down the pump if it goes out of spec. For a dairy farm with a full system like this, you're looking around the ten dollars to $12,000 mark for, for the complete system. Loss of a single vat of milk could be $8,000, and if we alert them to that, then that's, that's good. I mean, if they got fined for an effluent irrigator infringement, that's, that's serious money. I mean, it can quite quickly pay for itself. So far, it's been brilliant, especially the effluent system. It's uh, very good in the way that you don't have to worry about it. It's a, it's a fail safe. Uh, for instance, uh, Peter rang when he first installed it. And he said, oh, is there a pipe burst or something? And I said, oh, I don't know, I'll have to go and have a look. And I, I jumped on my ute and had a look at my phone. Sure enough, there's an alarm on my phone. And I went down and um, the pipe had burst, where usually, if the tank was full, it would drain into the paddock completely, whereas this will stop within three minutes, which saves me a lot of time. If it stops, I know it's not going to be a problem. Some of the other milk vat monitoring is just the volume. It'll tell you if the vat door is open or closed. Uh, the milk's going into the vat cooling system. It'll tell you how warm the milk is going into the vat and beforehand. So, yeah, no, it's a great tool.
because of the rain at the moment. I don't like the rain gauge on it at the moment. But um, apart from that, yeah, I, I just, you know, it just tells you everything you need to know while you're milking. And you can be milking and just a quick look to your right and you see the screen there and it'll just tell you everything you need to know. That's the farm we've just been to. That's a duplicate of the one that he's got in his cow shed there right now. This is a new product that we haven't released yet. It's a dashboard to go in a cow shed to show the farmer in real time while he's milking some of the things that might give him problems. So over here we've got the hot water cylinder and um, we change colour as the temperature gets hotter um, to indicate um, what the temperature of the wash water is. This is the plate cooler, so we've got the temperature in and the temperature out of the milk and the, de the delta is the temperature differential across it. So at a glance you can see if they've forgotten to turn the water on into the plate cooler. This here's the milk vat with the level in litres and the temperature of the milk in the vat showing the um, position of the inlet tap and the outlet tap to make sure he's got those in the right position. It's not a good look to leave the tap open and put all the milk out onto the driveway. Um, and this here is the milking for the totals for each of the two milkings. So currently there's two milkings in there and that, that total adds up to that. And then we also monitor the stirrer on the top to show um, if it's working correctly because if the stirrer quits then the milk freezes in the bottom of the vat. Over here this guy's got a sump. All his effluent from the cow shed goes into a sump while he's milking. So actually while he's milking he can see how full that sump is and it will show him also if the irrigator's running, it'll show him the meters per hour and the pressure of the effluent in the pipe into the effluent irrigator. If anything goes out of spec, a red exclamation mark flashes on the screen and, and the screen beeps. But um, it, as I say, that's the, and we've got all these little widgets so we can drag different pictures for different people around the place. And along the bottom here for him, he's got one of our weather stations, so we're just showing some of the weather data. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.